open up a new sketch in Fritzing. Normally we'll use the breadboard to prototype. Today we're going to create a simple schematic. Scroll down in your core parts on the right side and we're going to use the DC power. Place it wherever you need to and you can scroll in with your mouse wheel and center it. Click your component on the right side on the inspector tab Enter the voltage. We're using 12 volts. And you can scroll back up in the core parts. And under basic, we can select a resistor. Click and drag the resistor. And again, go to the inspector tab and enter the value of the resistor. In this case, we're using a 120 ohm resistor. You can do other things like change the tolerance, the package, and the size, and how many bands the resistor has. We're going to also select a motor and put it in series with the resistor. And that's under the output tab. Now we'll connect nodes so that we can create a nice nest in our schematic so that everything is actually connected in fritzing. To make our schematic look clean, we can drag points along each wire and pull the nodes into the proper direction. You can slide components once they're connected and they will actually stay grouped or connected. You can move text in relation to a particular component and we're going to zoom in, pan over by holding in the mouse, uh, middle mouse button and then we'll select text in the schematic view and then in our inspector tab we can change the text to whatever we want. In this case, we're going to include the current draw. And if you look at the width and height of your text, you can actually change that. So we're just going to make it a little smaller. And the Keep Aspect Ratio tab is checked, so it looks nice and clean. We'll center it up and then place it. Now we're going to save our drawing. And this will be saved as a compressed fritzing sketch. And now we're going to export it so we can use it in documentation and things like that. And we're going to use a PNG file. Okay, it automatically creates a nice file name for us. And let's just preview the file. And there we are. Nice clean document with the Fritzing logo. Okay, the last thing that we're going to do with our schematic is export a bill of materials so we can look at what's inside the schematic. And it again creates a nice file name for us and it creates an HTML document of the assembly and the shopping list and a few other details. If you are comfortable with HTML, you may open up the file, the HTML file, with your favorite text editor. I'm going to use Notepad since that is default on all Windows computers. And I'm just going to edit a few things just to show you how easy it is to create something simple. And I'm just changing the title of my document. I'm going to get rid of some of the small details and also get rid of the shopping list since it essentially just doubled everything. I'll, uh, I'll actually keep the exported with Fritzing just so I remember which version I used and to give a little credit to the Fritzing project. Save that and then you can open up the HTML in your browser and there you go, you got a nice clean bill of materials. You can export that to PDF if you'd like. And that's our simple Fritzing schematic.